I do not just step on a hair. I love how grossed out he is too. He's like a hair. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a special episode of Life of a Sneakerhead. I brought you guys on today because I know you guys are working in the sneaker industry in New York, which is like the epicenter of sneakers. This is where sneaker yep. culture comes from. Mm -hmm. So I guess I want to talk with you guys about your experiences being a female sneakerhead in the industry. Real quick, just to let you guys know that we are selling stuff on the low for charity. All donations going to Seattle Music Partners because shout out to Raph, he was always so much into music and encouraging and inspiring guy. Thank you. All right, so you gotta download the Bump app right now and follow the Bump account because they are having a special drop of 20 of the rarest Supreme items today at 11 a.m. Pacific. It's gonna be crazy. Here are just some pics of what they're selling. Crazy rare stuff. You don't wanna miss this. Check out the Bump account. The items that we are selling, opening ceremony varsity leather jacket Oof. for 120. It's the one that Super Duper Kyle was wearing. What size is that? It's a male large, so if you want to wear the oversized I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Black cement threes, they are worn, but in very good condition for 120 dollars. Yo, classic. I that's mean, a pretty poppin' uh, yeah, price. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I got these Adidas James Harden Pencil Academy shoes. The ones that we helped Judge in the oh, Pencil Academy oh, series. Snap. Oh, snap! So it was cool, but I did wear them. I did wear them. I'm gonna sell them for 40 bucks on the bump. Yo, that's Crazy. a steal. Crazy steal. That is a steal, my guy. Uh, Pippin twos, white varsity red. One of my favorite shoes of all time, but I gotta let them go. 50 bucks. Yo. Clean. Full grain leather. <laughs> Penny twos in the white, 35 bucks. Kyrie fours in size 10. I oh. wore them though. I hooped in them. 25 bucks. Light club shorts, and I wore their clean though. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, did you wash them? 15 bucks, and then a brand that we all like, Ame. Ame shirt, long sleeve, 15 bucks. Five. All the proceeds from those sales are going to charity, Seattle Music Partners, in memory of Rafael Batista. Shout out to Rap. So I currently do marketing strategy for Foot Locker, previously worked in finance. And I used to head up marketing over at everyone's favorite consignment shop, Flight Club. I help with all the storytelling for Ciroc, his newest okay. product, VS, and I have my own women's sneaker fashion blog called For the Kick of It, all about that women empowerment in the sneaker world. I can tell you from knowing guys that are into sneakers, a lot of them judge girls like, oh, they don't know as much. Or right. Like, yeah. How can you guys be really into it? Or for some reason, they're salty. I've been fortunate enough where I haven't had anyone necessarily be salty to me. I think it in all- In person. Right, right <laughs> in person. I don't know what everyone's talking about when, when they're not in my face, but a lot of the times it's, if someone is salty, it's either hate or because they've approached someone who maybe was just wearing sneakers just to wear it and wasn't authentic about it or could, mm -hmm. could speak to actually what they like. Yeah. Being a female sneakerhead, so the negative part, definitely having my knowledge and my expertise questioned by males, especially being right. Asian, I feel like the stereotypical Asian sneakerhead comes from a lot of money and just buys sneakers because it's the cool thing to do. So I feel like that's the stereotype. Well, positive thing, I feel like it's helped me like, cut lines every once in a while. Right. I really utilize like you know female prowess, I guess. Now more than ever, the sneaker game is catering right. more towards. Oh, they're females. trying to. Like what even gets you guys into sneakers? Well, for me, I've been a huge sports fan my entire life. So naturally and organically, I was exposed to sneakers. I feel like females nowadays, like Alayli May or Rihanna, is really paving the way for females to just be unapologetic. Right, right. There wasn't one thing that necessarily brought me into it. You know, being born and raised in a place like Queens, New York, it was natural to be in sneakers. Yeah. It was natural to have this, what they're now calling like ath ath athleisure and stuff. Um, and I don't have the typical story where someone's like, my first pair of sneakers were Jordans, mine were LA gear. Going back real quick to your point where you're like, being an Asian girl, sometimes you get judged harder even, or you get questioned more because your Asian face, and I, I go through the same thing of yeah. having an Asian face and it not representing the culture. Right, mm -hmm. Where you're sure. from New York, you're mm -hmm. what, Guyanese? Yeah, and, and but even that Chinese. catches people right. off by surprise because, I mean, when people first see me, they know Guyanese, but they're also gonna think like Indian, right? Which it's is not true. also known to be a sneakerhead. Right, so if anything, for the most part, my reaction ends up being a little bit different because people are like, what? Huh? You're into sneakers? What would you say outside of work? You know, you work at Foot Locker, corporate, right? Yes. Are you still involved in all the sneaker stuff that's going on in the city? Are you involved? Obviously, you blog. 
a misconception of corporate world is that they don't understand culture, they don't understand the kids and the audience. Right. And I think it's important for me to stay connected to my friends and the culture and streetwear to really be the liaison between corporate and out here in these streets. Some of these brands yeah. are so out of touch because right. they're not in submerged in the culture and I think that also really ties in with women you know we there's that motto of they shrink it and pink it and I've said this before which the one time to shrink a pink shoe was that rust pink one and they did not make it available for women it makes no sense I'm flabbergasted women I feel like for the most part they're not a sneakerhead really care about comfort We're also looking stylish so I feel like the Rihanna collection did help like bring okay, both yeah, worlds yeah, together. Someone like me who loves sneakers, but at times I want to be feminine. Someone the other day actually commented on my IG and said, oh, you don't just wear uh, baggy oh pants and starter jackets? The only negative comment I received is uh, similar to your story. People in my IG DMs are like, oh, you wear, you own a dress. When I post a picture of myself yeah. with a dress, I'm like, I can't, I can't wear it just because I wear sneakers. Are you wearing but sneakers with the dress and you're like, I'm wearing yeah. a dress and keep it like this. Sometimes I want to wear a pair of heels and a dress. <laughs> I also feel like sometimes people really appreciate the fact that you can switch it up. Right, right. Does it really matter what sneakers a guy has on? You know what, what is, I've seen a lot of, I can't stand. What? Really dirty stands. Yeah. Also, especially if you're a dude from New York and uptown, if you come with white Air Forces and they are dirty. Yeah, I agree. Mm. I Do you think in general girls care about the sneakers you wear or the streetwear oh, that you have? Not at all, not at all. I don't care sneakers wise, but like it just has to match their outfit. Do you think that women care about the sneakers and the streetwear that you have on, specifically like the brands and stuff? I don't know, I don't think they care so much about what it is as long as it just like looks good together. Like, you know, like you can't just piece a bunch of shit together. Like, I don't think they know as much as like we do. Like, you know, like they think those shoes are sick, but like they don't know what they are. No, nah, not really. It's just as long as you present yourself all right, you should be good. Don't have like super dirty ass sneakers, but you should be all right. It, I don't think they care as much about the brand as more about how you wear it. Yeah, I guess it just depends on the person. Like some people, obviously, they, you know, they are hypebeast, they, they will notice this stuff. I've only been into like Air Max for the past like five, six years, and that's because a dude put me on it. This it's is your me. love story? Your this love is story not my shoe? love story <laughs> shoe. So this is what puts you on an Air Max. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's a pretty good shoe to be put on for Air Max. Real quick, Victoria, did you bring a pair of shoes that you wanted to talk about? I did. Why is this your favorite sneaker of your collection that you have right now? Favorite shoes are the Nike acronym Prestos because I love Errol Hugh and what he has done for I guess, Asians in streetwear and really paved the way. He's a great designer and I love the whole utilitarian tech trend. Super practical and a friend hooked me up so it's super meaningful to me. I think being Chinese American, um, lucky for me, my parents kind of understood it because sneakers and streetwear are so prominent in Asia. I don't think they understand it from a career perspective. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they think that I just right. like yeah. sell shoes at Foot Locker yeah. and like the referee yeah. uniform. When you say I work at Foot Locker, you're like, no, 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 mom, not. Nah. Yeah, they, I'm right. pretty the sure they, they definitely think I'm in a stock room like schlepping boxes to no, customers. My parents thought that at right? Flight Club. They were just like, <laughs> like we, they thought I was job. depressed and they were like, yeah. we just don't yeah. let her go and do right. it. They didn't understand. Even my uh, previous job before that when I was working for the Marley family, they honestly don't really understand the concept of like yeah. marketing public relations. So right. I have to kind of dumb it down. I'm just like, right. I work for a big sneaker store. I work right. for Diddy. All right, everybody, that wraps up our video on female sneakerheads. Thank you so much to Victoria and Elisa for being here. Thank you. you, guys. Thank you. Uh, it was a really good conversation. Hopefully it was informative for a lot of people, inspiring. I gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor, The Bump App. Again, follow us at The Plum Bros. As this video goes up, we are putting up a lot of pieces of our collection up on the low, great pieces. It's all going to charity. And we have another video, part two of this series, coming up next where we got more of our collection coming up. So definitely check out The Bump App. Download it, it's free. I'll leave the link down below. The Bump App, it's the easiest way to buy and sell your used gear. It's super quick. Have you addressed the haters? Don't worry. Oh, later. The haters later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always haters. Always haters. When you do something, you'll have haters. Exactly. That's when you know you're doing something right.